Hi there, my name is Victor and I am a master technician. Please be aware that I do not represent any company. I'm not endorsed by or affiliated with any automotive manufacturer or car dealership. All opinions expressed in this video are my own and all trademarks, logos and brand names are the property of their respective owners. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the factory mudguards on 2016 to 2022 Lexus RX models. So the first thing I do is uh, put the vehicle in accessory mode by pressing the start button once. And uh, what that will do is um, allow us to turn the wheels uh, as needed to access the screw locations. You don't have to do it if you have like a 90 degree drill or something, but I find this makes it a lot easier. So the factory mudguard kit will come with four mudguards and a couple bags of hardware and uh, two inserts for the front. And they're all marked as far as to where they go. So this one is rear left, for example. So let's proceed with the installation. So I'll start with a right front one and then the left front is identical. So first thing we gotta do is remove these three clips right here. So there is one here, one there, and there is a third one right there. So pop them out using a flat blade screwdriver. This one and this one we're gonna keep. And then this guy gets uh, discarded. It will not be reused. Now we're gonna grab this uh, piece of trim and just pull it off like so. There's a little uh, white clip right here. So sometimes that will come out. If it does, just uh, reinstall it in that location. So once we pull this piece of trim back, uh, we have access to these three clips right here that we're gonna remove. They will not be reused. We just pop them out and uh, discard them. And that's three of them. In a hardware kit, you have uh, two of these larger sized uh, screw clips and then you have uh, eight of these smaller ones. So we're gonna take three of the smaller ones and install them right here. where the original clips were, like that. So this larger screw clip is gonna go on here. So pull back this and install it over this hole. Now you can reinstall this piece of trim. So just clip it in, line up that little white clip I showed you before, okay? Now we can go ahead and uh, reinstall these two that came out earlier. Take the appropriate uh, mud guard and just set it in place. And using like a screwdriver or a pick or something, mark the location of that hole in a plastic. Now we can take it off and we'll, where we see our little mark, we're gonna install the last one of these clips on there. So the hole in a clip will be where we scratch the little mark on the plastic, like that. Now we need to install this uh, spacer right here. So it's marked uh, front right. I don't know if you can see it. So we're gonna set the mud guard in place. Now we're gonna take the spacer like this and uh, line it up sort of with the holes that are on the mud guard. Slide it in a little bit here. And then uh, making sure that the holes are gonna line up, we're gonna slide it behind this black piece like so. So in a hardware kit, we have short screws and long screws. We're gonna take two of the short screws, line up the mud guard, and then uh, install them in the bottom in the little screw clips that we installed earlier. You gotta find where it is. 
That's one. And that's two. Now we're gonna turn the wheel to get a little bit of access to those holes and use the three provided long screws and install them into the mud guard. Okay, front one's done. Let's move on to the rear one. For the rear, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and remove these two screws right here. Then take the appropriate mud guard. Line it up. And reinstall the two screws. So in our rear hardware kit, we have these little screw clips and we're gonna install them onto this piece of uh, plastic trim behind where the holes are located, right there. And uh, that's where our screws are gonna go. So we have uh, two of these little ones and uh, a bigger, thicker one. We're gonna be using the small ones right here. One, and two, and then the larger screw with a number three Phillips head goes in here. Repeat the process on the other side. And that is it. Lexus RX mudguard installation is completed thanks for watching please check for product links below the video for any tools or supplies needed to complete the procedure shown in this tutorial if you would like me to make a specific video please leave a suggestion in comments and don't forget to subscribe see you next time cheers